Hello scholars, I hope you're all doing well. Today's going to be a bit of a different day because I am out because I am sick. I am so sorry to miss all of you, but I will be back and better than ever. Today, someone else will be taking over my lesson, but we're still going to do our best, be respectful, and follow all expectations. We're going to start by watching a video about a handy tool that we will be using called the multiplication table. I am the multiplication table. Remember me because you're able. We'll learn to multiply 1 through 10. Up to 100 because you can. Let's start by learning how the times table works. Because learning to multiply is one of life's perks. You see that vertical line, it's numbered 1 through 10. And that horizontal line is numbered the same again. All the numbers on the inside we will cover next. They're the answers to the equations you will see in text. For example, if you look at the number 2, and you want to multiply it by 7, here's what you'll do. Let's use this 2 from the vertical side, and multiply it with the 7 on the horizontal guide. Run a line from the 2, if you know what I mean, and a line from the 7 down to see where they meet. Where the two lines collide will be the answer you seek. 2 times 7 equals 14. This equation is complete. You can also use the horizontal number 2 and the vertical 7 to achieve the same results. It's true. Now let's try to multiply 5 times 5. Where the two lines meet, the answer is 25. Another example is multiplying 9 times 6. The two lines meet at 54 where your eyes are transfixed. One more equation, it's 8 times 4. The answer is 32. After this course, there is more. I am the multiplication table. Remember me because you're able. We'll learn to multiply 1 through 10. Up to 100 because you can. When we start at the x and count diagonally down, you'll find the answer to each number and multiply by itself without a frown. Times one equals one, and here's some more. Then you see two times two, and it does equal four. Three times three equals nine, and four times four is sixteen. Five times five is twenty-five, now you know what I mean. Six times six is thirty-six, and seven times seven is forty-nine. Eight times eight is sixty-four, now I know you're feeling fine. Nine times nine equals eighty-one, yeah, that is what I said. And ten times ten equals one hundred, you can see here in red. You can move across your number on its own. Let's try a couple out, then you can continue at home. Multiplying by one, yeah, it is so easy. You always end up with the same number you multiply by, you see. One times one equals one, and two times one is two. And three times one equals three, now you practice two. Move to two and count straight across. Two, four, six, eight, ten, start over in your lost row. Fourteen, sixteen, eight, and 20. Let's try one more row. Start at the number 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. 21, 24, 27, and 30. Download your times table sheet from KLT site and practice multiplying till you get it right. I am the multiplication table. Remember me because you're able. chart. It's a really handy tool that you can use in learning your multiplication facts. I'm going to try to include it in more of your slides so that you can use it to help you with skip counting or with other multiplication. Multiplication problems are made up. Multiplication was fun. Let's break down that division, y'all. Choice is yours, but make 
Division facts have three parts. Twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-two, twenty-three, 
Listen to this game again.